All right. This is the Precambrian Eon. We're going to go over an article and uh, about this time. And um, I've kind of highlighted it a little bit for you so you can check to see what the um, what things I, were, are important and that you need to know. Um, I also put over here on the side some uh, key details and these will really help you out if you need to fill out this form down here or for any other information. These are like the key ideas that you can include in your um, final projects about the Precambrian Eon. Okay, so we're going to find out what the Eon, what Eon means, and we can take a look at this word and it says pre, so we know that's before Cambrian, right? It means before. Pre means before. All right, and also on the side here we have a timeline that um, can help us out, and we've been studying timelines, so. That should be helpful for you too to see that. So we're starting here in this, I've highlighted the Precambrian Eon, and they've put the little animals and things here that were prominent or important during that time or that were alive during that time. Okay, um, so it says, geologists have separated the Earth's geologic history into several spans of time called eons and eras. And I've highlighted here what you need to know about eons. Eons are the longest, largest time segments, and eras span shorter blocks of time. So the first one we have here is this eon. And then we have the eras down here. So those are shorter period of time. So this is the longest period of time. So between 500 million years ago and 4.6 billion years ago, that is a very long time. The oldest segment is known as the Precambrian um, Eon. The Precambrian Eon began over 4 billion years ago and represents 88% of the Earth's geologic time. That's a lot of time. The more recent eras are known as Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and our present era, the Cenozoic. And you can see here, here we are. I highlighted that for you as well. Because the Precambrian Eon was such a long time ago, little is known about it. Much of what we know has been discovered by scientists in the last 50 years. Some of the oldest fossils from the Precambrian are tiny bacteria found in Australia. These fossils date back over 3.4 billion years old. And uh, just in case you don't remember, like a fossil is an imprint of like the an animal probably more likely their like spine or their bones or something like that and they died and um and they kind of they might have been in like mud or something like that and it it kind of um put their body onto it um once they died and all of their body was kind of um disintegrated then an uh, image of them was there okay or a little picture of it so the only thing that scientists have are to look at these fossils to figure out about that time period so they have some of these ancient fossils are known as strom stromatolites stromatolites and they were a form of cyanobacteria you probably know this word bacteria okay so it's just like a very small um organism that is growing bacteria now you probably like you know like antibacterial cream right that gets rid of germs and stuff like that but there's also good bacteria so this is a good bacteria that's growing and um, building up in the earth and it's also it's called algae they were common in the shallow seas of the primitive earth let's talk about this primitive um, means that it is um, very simple, a very simple time. So they're shallow seas. Stromatolites lived in large communities that would build up layers of rock like micro microbial mats year after year. Here's a picture of the layers. Stromatolite fossils have been found all over the world and represent um, one of the most important organisms of the Precambrian 
era. So it was probably, it was just these things. There weren't people, there weren't any other animals. It was just this bacteria. And they, they lived in colonies and it formed these little mats. So over here, I have the important key ideas in this article. We have Precambrian Eon is the oldest time period in geological history. Um, it began over 4 billion years ago and is 88% of the Earth's geologic time. They have found ancient fossils that are 3.4 billion years old, the scientists have. And fossils are called stromatolites. And stromatolite fossils are made of algae called cyanobacteria. Stroma stromatolites live in large communities and make layers of rock called microbial mats. Stromatolite fossils are found all over the world. And then remember, our present geologic era is called Cenozoic era. So that's this part of this article. Now, when we take a look down here, this article, it, the importance of this is, um, again, talking about how did we find out about the animals that were living during this time? Um, we do have the fossils, but because it was such a long time ago that the, um, they broke down the, the rocks and the fossils, have, they broke down very easily and there's hardly anything left of these fossils. Um, so it's kind of hard. And also another reason is because some of the animals during that time, like towards the end, um, they didn't, they were invertebrates, which means they didn't have backbones. So like jellyfish and marine worms um, have been found in Precambrian rocks because they were, they, they were soft body. So they, you couldn't really preserve them as fossils because they like their entire body be disintegrated where bone is really hard. So it will stay longer than like a soft body. So it was kind of hard for scientists to figure out like what were the animals during that time. But they did find, you know, those mats with the stromatolites. Um, and so that helped them to figure things out. And one of the things they figured out was that um, these stromatolites um, and the bacteria, they started changing the appearance of <clears throat> uh, oxygen you know, that, that they started to create more oxygen and it started to change um, the ozone layer. Um, so a lot of the, it allowed for more complex animals to, to grow, not just the bacteria, but because of the bacteria and the oxygen it created, then they were able to have m more complex animals like the jellyfish and the marine worms. Um, and so I can read this to you really quickly. Precambrian time represents the longest geologic time unit of Earth's history. Um, again, I think I highlighted everything. One of the, another important part is this um, amino acids um, are the building blocks of life. And so um, in the Precambrian time, um, all of these, um, bacteria, they were part of these, they created these amino acids. And, uh, and so again, a, a opportunity for the, um, to create more complex animals rather than just the bacteria. So here are the important parts of this article. Um, there's little known about the organisms that lived during the Precambrian era eon. Remember, eon is um, means is the longest amount of time. Um, one reason the rocks and fossils from this time period are old and broke down. Um, in the rocks, they did find they found amino acids, which are the building blocks of life. And the organisms they found created a lot of oxygen that created, that changed the atmosphere so that there could be more complex animals. They also found jellyfish and marine worms in the fossils. Uh, they are rare because these animals don't have backbones. Most fossils are created with the bones. 
So this is the Precambrian um, Eon article, and hopefully um, it was helpful for you to note the key ideas in here and um, that they could help you create your final project.